Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm gonna be showing you how I paint this Rick and Morty painting. Now I start off with a bottom coat of yellow and I put green over the yellow. That way when I blend these colors together, it gets me a really bright limey green. And now what I'm doing to blend them, I took a piece of paper and did a circular swipe to blend them all together. Now I'm litting that off with a circle. That way it preserves that really bright yellowish green color putting a little weight on that circle so no paint can get underneath there. Next, I'm gonna be putting white on the whole top because I need white paint. Then over the white paint, I'm gonna be putting this pinkish purplish color. And over that pinkish purplish color, I'm putting blue. Now, I'm thinking in my head, I gotta blend all of these colors together. That's why I'm doing this in layers. Now over those two colors, I'm gonna put white again so they're sandwiched between the white. So this blended purpley blue color is really bright and it's a really light tone. I want it to be as bright as possible, so I put two layers of white. Once I have these bl this blended blue and purple color, I put just some dark colors in the center. That's some dark blue and black. Now I'm putting the dark blue around the edges of the entire painting to shade in a little bit to get a buffer for the black. So I put the dark blue and then I put the black down. Now the dark blue acts as a little bit of a buffer between the black itself and the really bright purpley color that I have mixed there. Now once those are down, I put on some lids on the corners of the paintings. I put the biggest one in the top corner, a little smaller one on the, on the bottom corner, and a large one on the other bottom corner, and then two smaller ones on top. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting a little bit of that really bright purple underneath those circle lids, as well as some of that black and dark blue shading I did. Now once those colors are down and the lids are on them, I black the whole rest out of the painting because we got all the bright colors that we need underneath those. So now over that really dark colors that I put down in the center, I put some white and yellow around the white. So it looks like the white's glowing. And then I take a crumpled up piece of paper and I'm removing some of that really bright white and yellow to make sort of like a galaxy texture. Now there's no specific, specific look. Next I hit it with a little bit of blue on the edges and a little bit of purple as well. That way it just gives it an extra glowy effect. Once that's down, I just flick on some white stars across the whole painting. And I hit just the edges of every one of these planets with, with the circle lids are. Just the very edge, very, very thin, thin line of white. Spray myself with blue. <laughs> I got that on camera. Are you okay? I'm all in. So once I put the white down, I hit those edges over the white with some blue, and I removed the lids to reveal all the planets and Rick and Morty's portal on the very bottom. Now the color scheme that I'm going with here is bright limey green against really bright purple. Green and purple contrast super hard, so that's the main idea behind this. Next on the bottom, going to the portal, I put some clouds down there, that way it sort of grounds you when you're sort of looking up at the sky. I throw on some yellow around Rick and Morty's portal to make it glowy. And I throw on these three black lines on both sides of the portal for some trees. So those lines are gonna be tree trunk. So what I do to make a tree is I spray some black down on a scrap piece of paper and I fold a napkin. Now I do this fast so the paint doesn't dry. Once I fold the napkin, I tear it and I dab it into that black so it acts as a disposable spray paint brush. And once I have that there, I just get these trees down by working from the very bottom up to the top and I'm turning the napkin to its side to taper it off to the top of the tree. Now it's gonna contrast against those white clouds that we added earlier and the yellow of the portal. So we wanna go really dark with these with this color so it really pops the trees off so we go black. That's why we use black specifically for this. Once those trees are down on the very bottom, I black the whole bottom out for some ground that those trees are standing on. And then I take some yellow for the portal and I shine some yellow light going in front of the trees so it creates another layer of depth. Once that's down, I just take a piece of paper 
and then removing some of that black to reveal the ground that we put down. It's just the yellow and the green from the very first step of the painting. But now that we have the black removed, the ground's there, the portal's there. Last thing to do is put Rick and Morty coming out of the portal, stepping on the ground. So I prime it with dark blue and then black, just so the black has no issues standing over that bright limey green that we mixed. Once Rick and Morty are down, I let them dry for a moment. And while they're drying, I fold a piece of paper and I throw on a sort of cluster of shooting stars over the galaxy. That way it gives the sky a little bit of motion. It's good to have some birds or clouds or some kind of motion, but in this one in particular, we put some shooting stars for some motion in the sky. Now Rick and Morty should be dry, so I take the stencil off, clear coat the whole top of the painting. And while I have the clear coat going, I'm going to clear coat them just so I can carve in a little bit of a highlight coming from the portal itself that they're stepping out of. Now once that highlight's down, it really pops them off and it makes it look like the portal they're stepping out of is really glowing bright. We added the glowing mist around the portal and now we're reinforcing the glow by adding some highlights to the back sides of Rick and Morty as they're coming through it. I added some highlights to the ground as well, coming from the portal, keeping in mind that the portal is where the light's coming from. So I hit the light coming from the right side on the ground and then coming from the left side of the ground. That way it looks like they're stepping through and the light's shining from behind them. I also took the same piece of paper I used the shooting stars for and gave them a couple black shadows from their feet on the ground. And then the last little extra step just to pop the painting off a little bit more is to hit those planets with just a little tiny rim of light that's touching them. Sign the painting and it's good to go. I hope you guys like the way that this one came out. Like and subscribe for more video content. We're, we're looking to put out a lot more painting. So hope you guys enjoy the way this one pops off. And if you guys do want uh, to purchase this, we have our link to our shop here. Just remember to hit like and subscribe. We'll be posting more stuff soon.